Hey, welcome back to Cobb's Q. So about a year ago, a friend of mine bought her husband a Traeger for his birthday and asked, hey, how do I cook wings? So we did a video to show him how to do that and that was the first video we ever released. So the boy asked me, hey dad, can we do wings for the ball game this weekend? I'm like, absolutely. However, let's make them crispy. Let's go ahead and smoke them, but then let's flash fry them. So we get that crisp texture at the end, but still get that smoky goodness. So we went ahead and devised a plan. And then out of the blue, I get a phone call from my friend's oldest son. Hey, I'm gonna be in town this weekend. I said, great, come on over. So from the very first video, we get to do wings again, and then the folks we did them for will be here. Let's go outside. So let's go ahead and get the chicken ready. And this is really simple. You grab any one of these party wings. There's folks out there on the web that say you gotta have this really nice expensive knife. I bought this at Tuesday morning uh, for $10. It's a hinkle, I think. So, you know, you can spend the money and chip up uh, an expensive knife on bone. I don't recommend it. I think this works just fine and just it's really not difficult as long as you cut where you need to cut. That's it. So do that 30 times and we'll have wings. All right, so now that we finished uh, cutting those up, we're gonna go ahead and put our rub on. Today, we're gonna use a, uh, a Traeger rub. And honestly, I bought this a long time ago and I haven't used it yet. We tasted it last night, it looked pretty good. So this is the Traeger chicken rub. When you're doing chicken, it made sense. Dump it in like this. Okay, that is ready. So let's go ahead and get this on the egg. So today we're gonna smoke the wings and then we're gonna do a flash fry. And that's gonna give us that crisp uh, texture at the end that we're just not getting on the Traeger. We've done all the different things with baking powder, baking soda, leaving them in the fridge for, you know, for a few hours overnight, et cetera, try to dry them out and crisp them up. This is gonna be much easier. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead, roll at 300 degrees for about an hour. We're gonna get the internal temperature up to around 170, 175. That'll be perfect. And then we're just gonna flash fry for a couple minutes. So we're gonna use this Woodworks charcoal today. This is a new charcoal in Virginia. It's a small company. Uh, I'm gonna get more information about this and probably do something about it later. But I've already used their hickory on uh, pork and the oak on the brisket and it was amazing. And you don't use the whole bag like you'd normally use. You use typical lump charcoal and then I throw some of this on top. Today, this is cherry. So we're gonna go ahead, remove the uh, plate setter and we're gonna put some of that in and then we're gonna get the chicken on. Let's see, we're just gonna throw a little bit in here. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna throw a lot in there. Bag tour. But that's enough. That'll get the flavor going over the next hour. I didn't want it burning until I was ready for it. And that's why we're adding it at the very end or right as we're getting ready to put stuff on. Now we can put our chicken on. I'm gonna put the big portions of the wing, the fat side, if you will, toward the outside, because that's where the majority of the heat is. That'll just kind of help everything cook evenly. Okay, there we are. We got this going. We're gonna let this go for about an hour. We'll check them, and when I see 170, 175, we'll go ahead and pull them off, and we'll get them ready for a flash fry. So it's been about an hour and 25 minutes. Uh, they really weren't ready at the hour mark, but they've now hit 175 internal. Uh, it's just between 175 and 180, but they look beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and take them off while the oil's coming up temperature and then we'll flash fry them. So let's go ahead and take a look how we ended up. They look really good. Oh yeah, these look good. These look good enough to eat right now, but I know that the skin won't be crispy at this point. And that's the goal. We'd rather have the crispy wings yet still have that smoked flavor. And the method that we're using today is gonna give us the best of both worlds. Okay, so our T-Fall fryer is ready. We're at 350 degrees. Let's go ahead and throw the wings in here. And again, I'm just gonna do these in batches because what I don't want is the uh, wings to stick together as I'm frying them. Perfect. Okay, and we're gonna do this for three minutes and then we'll pull those, let them drip, and we'll get the next ones going. All right, so I'm looking through the hole and I like what I see. So it hasn't been a full three minutes, but uh, they have got a beautiful look to them. So I'm taking them out. Shake a little seasoning on these new ones. Let them cool off just a moment so we don't kill ourselves. God, those look so good. We are gonna try this right quick and then we're gonna add some more stuff to it. But uh, I wanna bring in a friend of mine, uh, James Cook. The beauty of James Cook, come on in James. 
His dad was my childhood best friend. We, we did everything together in grade school, middle school, high school, until we both left around the time we were sophomores. This is his oldest boy and hell of a good guy. So thanks for coming out and joining us today. Yeah, it's good to have you. And then you know the cameraman. Well, the cameraman, sometimes I, I love him and sometimes I think he's not all there. He came up with a crazy idea for this. So he's not wrong, this is crazy. But with the football game coming up in this, we've been watching the Hot Ones YouTube channel and we've had this for a while and had their sauces. So the idea is, is I'm gonna choose a team and dad's gonna choose a team. If my team scores, he has to have the last dab and I don't think he's gonna like it. <laughs> so what but, we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the last dab and we haven't opened any of these yet. I've been waiting for all the kids to come over and we were gonna do this as a wing uh, taste and we're not doing the bomb. That's not, I'm not doing the bomb. That's not happening. But today we are going to try the last dab on one of these wings. Now, the first thing though, I'd like everybody to grab a wing and just tell me what you think of them as they are right now. So well, grab, no. grab a flat or grab whatever you'd like. We want to see if they're crispy. Ooh. Oh, they're very hot still. Oh, that's a good rub. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, oh, no, hundred percent. Beautiful. You get that crisp to it at the same time. So oh, it's good. moist. The rub is awesome. Oh, man. You would think to go on to that 175, 180, you make the chicken tough, overcooked. Not at all. This is so moist. Oh, man. That's a good flavor. That I've, I've never used the Traeger rub. I've had it. Mm -hmm. That was excellent. So let's get a dab. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right. and well, on three. If you can't tell, I'm being very careful about this. <laughs> it's your your idea, so just drown it. That's not a, you get some <laughs> sauce on there. You, there you go. I'm a baby when it comes to this. Cheers, all. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay, thanks for coming out, James. <laughs> Thank you. That has a kick. <laughs> that has a kick. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sweet, though. Yeah, yeah. It had flavor while it wasn't spicy. <laughs> Mmm. All right. I can imagine what the bomb is going to be. Here's the last stab that was on that. Oh, yeah, it's still there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, to finish this off, we're going to throw a few in with hot sauce, a few in with a Japanese honey, uh, sweet honey. I think we've all agreed uh, the last stab was good, and the last stab stays in the bottle for the rest of these wings because, honestly, I'm still dabbing the last in my mouth right now. Pour a little bit of this in there. And we'll take some Japanese sauce. Okay. Shake those up. Shake these up. Have one, tell me what you think. Everybody, whatever you want. All right. Look forward to it. I'm gonna try the, this one's, I don't know the flavor. All right, let's have the Asian zing. Whatever it is. Mmm. Mm. That's good, good, and it's still got that crisp. I, I love that crisp from frying them. Mm -hmm. Compared to um, just coming off the Traeger. This, and it's still got some of the smoky flavor to it. I like the Japanese honey one. Frank's does well with that rub. I went the other way. You went the other way. So, hey, this is really great, and we're just really blessed to have James come out with us today. I mean, he flew all the way from Colorado just to eat wings. What a good guy. They're worth it. Kevin's the best. That's awesome. So, um, hey, Shane, Toga Ogata. Only he will understand that. Thanks, Eric. Uh, great idea with the last stab. Yeah. Um, hope you take a moment. and We'll use ch chicken wing today. Hope you take a moment and like. And subscribe. And have a blessed day. Okay, guys. That's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Tongue's still burning. A little bit. Bad idea. No, okay. This might have been the bad one to start with. <laughs> I'm gonna try one of these. Yeah, you should have cooled down first. Yes.